Odell here in sunny La Jolla in the neighborhood of Lower Hermosa. I got invited out to this beautiful listing by local broker Arlo Nugent to find out what's in this area. Hey Arlo, thanks for having me out here today. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, this is a beautiful listing. Thank you, it is. In um, Lower La Jolla, Lower Hermosa, right? Correct. Okay, I'm getting to know my neighborhoods. As I'm sitting down with agents lately, I'm hearing about how hot the market is out there. Absolutely. What is going on? So I know all real estate agents were always saying that here in San Diego, we don't really have the seasons like in New York, right? There's snow, people don't want to go out and see properties, exactly. Christmas time. Here, like we're immune to that, so it's year round. So because of that, you always hear real estate agents saying, now's the time to sell, now's the time to sell. Well, what it is, is exactly what people are saying. It's very low inventory and it's high demand. But what's really kicked that up another notch is that interest rates are going up. The Fed just announced it. Yeah. So now you have all these people that were sitting on the fence and they're like, oh, we're just gonna wait till summertime. There'll be more inventory, the quote buyer season. But now with the Fed announcing the interest rates, they're saying, oh my gosh, well, if interest rates are going up and home prices are continuing to go up, then we need to go do something now. And that's what's creating all of that demand with a relatively low supply. So buyers, by mm -hmm. now? Oh, absolutely. They're about to get hit with a double whammy. With those interest rates going up, with prices skyrocketing, yes, there might be more inventory this summer, but there will be more demand also. So it, it's just, it equals itself out. Absolutely. Now is the time to buy. Oh my gosh. So San Diego is always a hot market, but right now it's like fire market. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Actually here in Lower Hermosa, we only have 10 active listings, three of which sold in the last three months. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, and you always hear with like the above million dollar price range that they're sitting on the market more. Is that still true? No, not in this area at all. Now, when you get into like the five, 10, $15 million price range, sure, there aren't as many people that are qualified to buy those properties. But when you're in this range, two, $3 million, the demand is absolutely here. All right, Arlo, tell me what drew the original family to this house. So that's a question that I always, always ask my sellers, right? They've hired me to market and sell their property. So I ask them, what is it that stood out from this house compared to all the others you saw? And with this one, it was the same thing that I noticed when I walked in. All the natural light, you'll notice just windows everywhere, which is very common architecture in this area. And then also the natural light with the water feature outside. It's one of the first things people notice when they walk in. So it's a very comfortable house. It is single story. It's very, very open and has a huge yard. All of those things I think are really going to attract the next buyer to this property. Three bedroom? Three bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Three bedroom, two bath. Correct. Single story, two car garage. Uh, the sellers just redid the epoxy, the drywall all around. Looks really amazing. Well, I love it. And I love that it's on a huge lot over here for La Jolla. You have a Absolutely. lot of room around so the kids can be playing in the backyard, front yard. Mm -hmm. Wrap around yard. And it feels different over here too. This is, you know, with the tree house and more kid friendly. And then on this side of the house, you have the fire pit. So, you know, relaxing at night, have a drink or two, just hang out. It's very nice. Okay, as I was driving into this area, Lower Hermosa is the place to be. Tell me about this neighborhood. Right, so this neighborhood here started in the 1920s, has a lot of just beautiful architecture, very nice homes. And the Street of Dreams? Camino de la Costa, yes, absolutely. Okay, that's what I'm referring to. That is it, so a lot of tourists will come here and just drive up and down that street. I've actually seen, you know those trolleys that we have here with the tourists, uh -huh. kind of like the TMZ tour up in Hollywood? Yes. But those that we see going over the Coronado Bridge, they go up and down that street. Well, that's amazing, and it's walking distance to the beach. Two blocks, yep, Wind and Sea is two blocks from here. That is, that is amazing. Right. So that's the same for this listing too. This listing is right on the beach, mm -hmm. or two blocks away, sorry. Two blocks, we're right down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me about, I mean, I walked in here and I automatically like wanted to live here. Absolutely. Tell me about the I know, right? that this place attracts. So this will attract a family, absolutely. So we have a tree house, you probably saw that. You I'm saw the, open it. <laughs> yeah. So you saw the fire pit that we have here. I mean, this is, I just imagine a family coming here with young children, the schools are absolutely top notch, 10 out of 10, both of them. And, you know, just taking boogie boards and just walking down to the beach. You've got it all here. You've got Bird Rock is within walking distance. You probably saw the European style roundabouts there. Yes, okay, so that's what I was getting lost <laughs> on those things. That's what they are, is the roundabouts? Right. Yep, no figure eights through there. Yeah, those, those are definitely the roundabouts. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Bird Rock is just amazing. The restaurants, um, Bird Rock Coffee Roasters, one of my favorite spots to get coffee. It's all walking distance. That's amazing. So, people that are coming to Lower Hermosa or the adjacent areas, mm -hmm. totally family oriented. Lots of out-of-towners as well. Right. 
So this is, I mean, this is truly a one-stop shop in this oh, absolutely. area. Something absolutely. Something for everybody here. No reason to leave. That's, yeah. I mean, amazing. So your favorite spot's the coffee shop. Yes, Bird Rock Coffee. So that's where I should head, sure. head after this? That's where I'm going. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, Arlo, thank you so much for having me out with this beautiful listing yeah. today. I am obsessed with it. Thank you. I'm going to go climb <laughs> up in the treehouse because I never had one as a kid. Awesome. You I, can do that. I think I was deprived. <laughs> you can do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I will do it. Arlo, thank you again so much for having me Yeah, out. thank you. As you guys can tell, this beautiful listing pretty much sells itself. Thank you so much, Arlo, your local La Jolla broker, for having me out here today. I think it's treehouse time now.